Hi folks, it's David Connolly here, the web developer extraordinaire. I've just spent the best part of maybe about five hours researching the safest way to upload a file using PHP, particularly the safest way to upload an image using PHP. And what I wanted to do was just give you my findings. And unfortunately, if you're expecting a here you go solution, it ain't gonna happen. So if it, you know, if you're looking for a safe way and perfect thing, I can't give you it, unfortunately. But what I can give you is um, the result of a solid four or five hours research. And all I want to do really is just, uh, well, three things. One, record this for myself, just so that I can rem remember it. Two, uh, hopefully um, save you folks a wee bit of time so that you don't have to go down the same road I went down. And three, finally, I want to open this up to other developers uh, who may have opinions on what I'm going to discuss here. So, uh, you know, I know that this channel gets watched by uh, a few really good developers, you know. So if you're out there, then please let me know what you think, either in a comment or a response video or anything. But here we go, and forgive me if this video takes a while. I'm currently finishing off a framework, a PHP framework, and the last thing that I have to do with the entire framework is to build a file uploader class, which sounds easy enough. And really and truly, this is the, the very, very last thing, and everything has been going nice, and I figured this would take two hours tops. However, I've discovered that the the whole business of checking a file and making sure it's cool and then uploading it to the server is actually a very dangerous thing. In fact, hardly anybody's talking about this. And I think um, as far as I can tell, the web development community have got two main strategies for dealing with the security risks that come with uploading files, and I'll tell you what those risks are in a minute, or at least a couple of them. One strategy that the community seems to be using is don't talk about it, you know? Um, if we just keep our heads down and thumbs up, then maybe they'll leave us alone. The second strategy, and, and I just say that because there's hardly any articles on this stuff. The second strategy that a lot of developers use is to just throw tons of things at the problem and hope that something sticks, you know? It's a bit like, um, you know, the mad axe man's at the door trying to bust in. So you shove a mattress up against it and then a chair and then a frying pan on top of that and you're just stacking loads of things in the hope that that will keep you safe. I don't think that that's an intelligent security strategy at all, and uh, I just don't believe in doing that, you know? So, based on what I looked at, here's a bunch of common sense rules that, well, first of all, I should tell you what the risk is. It turns out that when you have a an uploader, let's say, that has a picture, a, a picture uploader, and somebody does file, you know, upload, away you go. Obviously, they can upload things that are not pictures. And you probably knew that. I mean, some of the most basic hacks imaginable, for example, might be a person going on to a, I mean, nobody's, this is very basic, but let's say you've got a discussion forum and somebody leaves a comment and then they add script tags to the comment and then add some JavaScript that does something, maybe um, includes a form from some other page or something like that, or does something malicious. That's a very basic type of um, attack. But the scariest attack of all, which is the kind of thing that I would be losing sleep over at night, is where somebody up, let, let's say you've got a discussion forum and somebody uploads a profile picture and everything looks fine. It's a normal picture. You can even go and look at the picture. It gives you the right uh, extension, so .jpeg. It gives you the right um, 
mime type. It give, everything just looks fine and you can look at it, it's beautiful, everything's normal. However, it turns out that um, inside that picture there can be malicious code hidden that gets executed uh, by your server when somebody views the thing. And this is incredibly uh, scary stuff, I think. And as far as I can tell, the solutions are like the ones I say. People are just stacking tons and tons of stuff at this. And um, I'm going to run you through the, the common sense, best of the best rules that I, I found with my own research. And then I'm going to tell you why none of it works. And finally, I'll give you where I think the best solution probably is right now, but with no guarantees that it's perfect. So I started off thinking to myself, right, if I'm uploading files, the first thing that I'm going to want to do is remove all dodgy characters from the file name. So if somebody uh, uh, uploads a file with full stops or anything like that, get rid of it. Um, and I would be really strict with that. Anything at all that wasn't just a normal letter, an ordinary number or an underscore, anything out with that, I would not allow. That would be my first rule. In fact, ideally, I would be randomly renaming the file. And if it, if that damages search engine ranking, then so be it. But if it's a, let's say a public forum or something like that, um, who cares? You know, somebody that uploads an image, it's it would have to be renamed. So that would be my first thing, right? Uh, secondly, I would never build an upload script that allows the overwriting of existing files because one of the things that I've read about, which is another horror story, is where somebody would upload an HT access file and they would overwrite an existing HT access file and then they would have in the HT access file that any .jpeg file should be treated as a .php file. Now I'm not going to go into that and I don't even know what I'm talking about. But the bottom line is I would not allow any automatic overwriting of existing files. Instead, I would build a dedicated thing. So if you have um, a picture called me.jpg and you want to replace it, I would force them to go in and delete that picture and then upload it. So no overwriting, if you see what I mean. Next, only allow uploads into the public folder. So a lot of the modern frameworks have got a public folder and the actual internal workings of the framework is outside of the public folder. So it seems to be a good security practice to only allow people to upload into the public folder and don't allow them near the framework itself. Next, check the extension type, you know, .jpg, .blah, blah, blah. Next, check the MIME type, which is a simple test you can do on PHP just to make sure the thing is cool. I've not added it to the list, but there are browser validation checks you can do with JavaScript. Uh, and I'm suggesting ignore them completely because you cannot trust the browser and it's just a false sense of security. Now, this one here is really interesting. I found this on Stack Overflow and a guy had said, read the picture and check for dangerous syntax. And I thought this was a fantastic answer. So, for example, he says that this could be dangerous syntax, and so could this, and so could this. And if you find that syntax within the image file, then it's a dangerous file. Now, I thought this was awesome. However, let me just show you something. I, um, I got a hold of a couple of pictures from the web. These ones here, <laughs> it's Michael Knight. From Knight Rider, of course. Now, when you open them in something like Sublime, it's a picture and everything's fine. Now, these pictures are safe. There's nothing dodgy about these pictures. But when you open them in a text editor, and when you search around, now remember these are perfectly legitimate. Um, this one's a PNG file, which I'm now opening in a text editor. And if I search for question mark 
or for less than question mark, which is an opening PHP symbol, then it appears 11 times in this file. And it's not doing any PHP or anything, it's just that it appears, you know? And a lot of these files have got, like, well, they're massive for one thing. And you do get, believe it or not, um, less than question mark appearing randomly. So we cannot, therefore, use this type of check, which I've just lost. Um, I this, this here is a nice idea, but unfortunately, I think it's going to catch out legitimate pictures, which is almost as bad as getting a dodgy picture ad added to the site. Um, next was, I'll just include all of this uh, in one part, and that was using HT access files, for example, to disallow hot linking, um, uh, you can stop people from browsing your image directory, which is always a healthy thing. Um, and I've not got the code here, but I was meaning to add, uh, you can use HT access in such a way that only images will be displayed. Maybe there's something in that. Now there's other things as well. You can check that the file passes a get image size test, such as uh, this thing here. So if somebody uploads a picture, blah, 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 you can run that and if it returns false, then maybe it's not a picture. Finally, I haven't added it here, but you could, and I've not seen anybody talking about it, but you could potentially add some kind of asset manager as well, so that if somebody visits a URL that has .jpeg at the end, or something like that, or .png, you could, I believe, um, get PHP to send out headers that have got a content type of image, eh, or image forward slash whatever it may be, JPEG or something. I've not seen anybody mentioning that, but it might be worth a try. Now here's my grand conclusion, and if you've followed all of this stuff, I'm impressed. I actually don't even know what I'm talking about with a few of these things. But here's my ultimate conclusion of all conclusions. This is a mugs game, the whole thing. Even the stuff I mentioned with the headers and stuff, it's a mugs game. Um, because you're basically just, like I say, you're just stacking tons and tons of stuff up and hoping that everything will be okay. So the policy that I'm gonna have with uploading images is, is pretty simple. First of all, the only people who will be allowed to upload images will be site administrators. And that's it. Site administrators. Um, it's unlikely that they're going to hack their own websites, you know? So there's that. Secondly, if... I, I, was, I kept asking myself the question, how do sites like Facebook do this, you know? Uh, and I'm not aware of a published answer or anything. But I can take a good guess. I think Facebook are running pictures through some kind of virus scanner before they add them to the site. Same with Twitter. And I saw a few people saying you, you should run virus scanners that periodically check uploads folders and stuff. That sounds a bit too much for me. And... Um, it just sounds complicated. So the solution that the web developer extraordinaire is recommending above all else is a beautiful solution that I read about and it seems to be solid. That solution is when somebody uploads a picture, by all means check. Funnily enough, that mime type stuff is weak. Uh, why bother if it's weak, right? But if somebody uploads a picture, make sure the name is kosher. Check the end part of the name. Surprisingly, that's a better test than any of the get file size horse shit and all of that, okay? So uh, do those two things. 
And if it appears to be an image and if everything appears to be cool, convert the image to a bitmap. Then immediately convert the image back to its original format. That, my friends, as far as I can tell, is the only way that we can guarantee malicious scripts have been removed from images. However, it's a bit of extra work um, and it will reduce the quality of the images. But that's my findings and I would love to know what yours are. This is just me sharing some research in the hope that it helps somebody. Catch you later. Hello?